The state capitol tied to a criminal investigation that is launched regarding allegations a lobbyist drugged a female staffer off-site. As Jesse DeGoyato explains, news of these claims are prompting one San Antonio lawmaker to call for changing the culture at the state capitol that she says led up to this. It didn't happen here, but the state's seat of power was left shaken by allegations involving a staffer, a lobbyist, and Rohypnol, best known as the date rape drug that easily dissolves in the drinks of the unsuspecting. I will say I was appalled and disgusted when I heard the news. Um, very disappointed. And I am disgusted that this sort of predatory behavior is still taking place in and around our capital. Speaker Dade Filon's impassioned speech on the House floor went on to call for change. We can and we must do better when it comes to changing the culture in this building. Welcomed words, yet they were met with deep skepticism. The culture just hasn't changed, and I'm very disheartened about what, what's, what's occurred. State Representative Mijares says harassment incidents have occurred every year she's been there. It's a constant thing. And, and we deal with it every session, and here we are again. The House Speaker is now calling for in-person sexual harassment training, signage throughout with hotlines and emails to report any incidents. Victims shouldn't have to decide between their career and coming forward. That has to change. Yet with longtime lawmakers and their staff shielded by what Minghaitis calls a shroud of secrecy. It's never going to change, and, and uh, you know, the public needs to be aware of it. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.